Yeah, I'm um, hiding behind this mystery box, by the way, new design, which I like very much. So, no mystery for you, since you know about the title, but I've been warned I have some unboxing to do. Let's get rid of that part. I think I got to the essence pretty much right away. Hi, tech for all. This time our cameras have a lot of interesting new features, such as dual video and video clone. Try out our new features and try to shoot a creative video. Okay, the task is clear, camera testing. And I'm gonna turn this video into a tutorial explaining the camera basics first and then showing you some cool features to try out with the Mi 10T Pro. Why don't we combine both? Testing the camera, having fun and also teaching you about how a smartphone camera actually works. Now, you see the back, three different cameras and the flash. You've heard many times terms like main sensor, wide angle, telephoto, bokeh. Wow, for most people, this is a lot of terminology and can be confusing. We often tend to use this terminology because with just one word, we want to describe as much as possible. Let's begin with the main camera. The most basic way to explain the construction of a smartphone camera is to tell you about its main components. We have a lens. This is the glass part of the outside. Usually lenses are large for DSLRs. Here, they keep them small. Keep in mind that this outside layer is just a protective glass. The actual lens is underneath. Often lenses are constructed out of a number of elements. The one inside is a 7 glass lens. Below the lens there is the so-called sensor. This is the camera part which captures the light and converts it into the photo or video that you're shooting. The bigger the sensor, the greater amount of light reaching it and the better photos you're going to get, especially in low light. Inside the Mi 10T Pro we have one of the biggest image sensors designed for smartphones ever. And that's why low light photos are so good. The third important component needed for a good photo is the processing. The more capable the processor, the better fine-tuning of the photo details. Think about sharpness, contrast, autofocus, level of details, compression. These are all responsibilities of the processor. The Mi 10T Pro rocks the premium line of Snapdragon chipsets, so that's the best kind of unit that can capture your photos and videos. And because it has a lot of additional enhancements, the Mi 10T Pro's camera has a lot of additional features to offer based on AI or other smart processing functions. Now, we know about the main camera sensor and we see that it's doing some remarkable photos. 108 megapixels. If you think that's a lot, it is. Most of the time, you don't need all these extra pixels. It's just the mindset of being certain that your camera is one of the best out there. But when needed, you can switch to the 108 megapixel mode and make a huge photo, perfect for posters or wallpapers and so on. This is the camera you're going to use most often, and that's why every smartphone maker puts most of the efforts in that one. And we're going to its extra features in just a moment. Let me show you the wide-angle camera. In here we've got a 13 megapixel module, and the big benefit of wide-angle lenses is that you can fit inside the photo a lot more objects. Landscape, buildings, people. We've always had this issue trying to film a big group of people and some of them just won't fit in. And this is where the wide-angle camera comes handy. Also, some activities look nicer if you shoot them with a wide-angle lens. That's why action cameras have become so popular. The third camera that we have inside the Mi 10T Pro is the so-called macro camera. It is used for taking pictures of objects that are extremely close to the camera. The main sensor cannot focus at such short distance and often we want to take a picture of a bee or a flower and get as close as possible. Just notice how much closer I can get with this LEGO minifigure. That's about the cameras on the hardware level and it's amazingly good. On a software level, we get to explore the MIUI camera app. There are some new and interesting modes with it. You can use the phone's camera to shoot creative scenes. I'm showing you the video clone and I promise I don't have a twin brother. It's one of these awesome features that the camera lets you do. Same with photos. I've made so many samples. Daytime photos, buildings, portraits, landscape, night mode. Oh, if you wonder what's the benefit of using night mode, let me show you an example. Here's a standard photo and it looks really good, but look at these areas. And check it side by side with the dedicated night mode. Pay attention to these areas, they do make a difference. It's similar when you record videos, the software tweaks are so many. We have recording up to 8K, 30 frames per second on top of that with image stabilization because the Mi 10T Pro supports OIS. Also, we have 4K at 60 frames per second again with image stabilization which means that 
footage won't look shaky and you will be able to capture so many details of each activity that you should. And here's something else, the steady video mode which makes everything look as if it's shot with a gimbal. That's how steady the footage is going to feel. Concerning video, the Mi 10T Pro could be ultimate solution for vloggers, YouTubers, even news reporters because of this feature, the front and back camera mode. So what's happening here, I'm, I'm currently having the focus on myself, but I can easily switch it to, you know, combined, you know, shooting from both the, the, the main sensor, the main camera, and here's my hand, and I can be explaining what's going on, like at the moment, lifting these objects, or possibly if I want to put the focus here, I can make it like that. And I tell you that I'm right now lifting up this book. And when there's something important to say, again, I can put back the focus on myself and tell you that while I'm recording all that, there's image stabilization for both the front and the rear unit. So the footage is going to be stabilized. But that's not all of it. Applying presets, color grading, beautifications, changing aspect ratio for different social media platforms and our favorite pro mode available for both video and photo modes and letting you manually choose ISO, shutter speed, white balance and more and more and more. But let me give more room for your imagination and creativity. So tell me which is your favorite Meet NT Pro camera feature and why. Comment below and let's make a great pool of awesome ideas about creative videos and photos. And thanks a lot for watching this episode. Hope you learned something new and interesting. And that's getting you prepared for better use of your fabulous Mi 10 Pro 5G. I'm Michael from Tech4All for Xiaomi and I'm gonna see you soon. Bye!